Hello, Sherry Taylor here with Providential Health. And today I would like to talk about Thieves Essential Oil. I am using Young Living Oils. There's lots of other brands and I'm sure other good ones, but I just use the Young Living because I trust them. And so I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of these oils and then I'm going to make a safe bleach. I guess you could say safe bleach. And so I'll just kind of get started with that. Um, this is actually winter. We have a lot of colds, flus, and things like that. Germs are going around, and people are staying indoors, so they're around more people that are sick, and they seem like it passes from one to the other, and households from one member to the other. So I was just going to offer these suggestions that might help to... Um, you know, keep that down a little bit. So, this is purification. Purification, I'm going to read a little bit instead of trying to memorize it all because I'm afraid I might forget something. So, I'm going to just read a little bit about them. Just to tell you the uses. I'll hold this up. Hope, hopefully, it won't be too shaded. I was wanting to do a live video, but... I haven't learned how to do it yet, and I'm not real tech savvy, and our lighting is not the best this evening, so we'll just do the best we can, and hopefully y'all can get some good out of it. Okay, so purification has citronella, lemongrass, rosemary, melaleuca alternifolia, lavender, and myrtle. So those are all good things that help combat sickness. So it's a good one to use in the winter time. And then I'm going to talk about RC. Probably you may not can see the names, but that's RC. RC has myrtle, eucalyptus, marjoram, pine, eucalyptus. Well, there's two kinds of eucalyptus. One is eucalyptus globulus and eucalyptus citriodora, and lavender, cypress, and eucalyptus radiata spruce and peppermint so those are all very good oils for fighting disease and sickness and colds okay um, it says it could have a possible skin sensitivity so you might have to be careful with that but if you're diffusing it you don't have to worry about that so that's a good one and then lemon lemon we all know like in our cleaning products um, They'll have lemon. It's a very common one for cleaning. And I am, I told you I was going to make that bleach, so that's talking about cleaning. Okay, so lemon. It says uses are for circulatory problems, arteriosclerosis, obesity, parasites, urinary tract infections, varicose veins, anxiety, hypertension, digestive problems, acne. So actually that's quite a range of quite a wide range of uses. The medical properties, now these, these big words, I'm going to go ahead and read them because this is important. Anti-tumoral, antiseptic, improves microcirculation, immune stimulant, it may increase white blood cells, improves memory, relaxation, it's rich in limonene, which has been extensively studied in over 50 clinical studies for its ability to combat tumor growth. So that's pretty impressive there. So that's lemon. And the, the other one, which is the main one I'm going to talk about, is thieves. Now, if you're familiar with Young Living, you will know what thieves is. But if you're not, or if you're new to oils, thieves was named, and I'll just read it so I don't leave anything out. Sorry, I haven't memorized everything yet. Okay, it was created from research based on legends about a group of 15th century thieves who rubbed oils on themselves to avoid contracting the plague while they robbed the bodies of the dead and dying. When they were apprehended, the thieves were forced to tell what their secret was and disclose the formula of these herbs, spices, and oils that they used to protect themselves in exchange for a more lenient punishment. So that's why they named this Thieves. And studies have been done on all these separate um, properties to see if it really were true and if it really did work. So, you know, it has, it has been demonstrated to show the killing powder, power 
of these different oils. So I'll tell you the oils that are in there. Clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus radiata, and rosemary. So those are actually five very good oils I recommend everybody have in their cabinet. But if you don't have all of them, you can just get the one, Thieves, and it has all those in it. So Thieves is very good for diffusing. If you can see the diffuser here, I've got some Thieves going right now. They have, Young Living has a Thieves cleaner already made up. And you just dilute it with water. That's what I've got in here. Just get your own spray bottle and dilute this cleaner with water. And it'll last a long time. So that's a couple things you can do with it. And this is hand purifier. So there's a lot of gels that are going around. Hand cleaning gels. And um, I really discourage people from using them too much. But this has the oils in it that are safe for your skin. It has peppermint oil in it also. And I've heard a lot of good stories and testimonies on that, but I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm just going to stick with the thieves. So today I want to show you how I make a safe, safe bleach. And we might talk a little bit more about it, but I'm just going to try to do this quickly so it don't take too much of your time. But just get a jar, any jar. I would say get at least a 32 ounce. And then I'll read the, the ingredients that, it go, that goes in here. So we're going to start with half a cup of peroxide, and it says two caps full of this Thieves Cleaner. That's why I have the peroxide there, that's just simple ingredients. And then 20 drops of the lemon. And if y'all remember all that good stuff I said about the lemon. So we're going to count to 20, hopefully, and not mess up. All right, 20 holes. It wouldn't hurt if you had more anyway, but. <laughs> okay, so then. We're just going to stir it up a little bit. And the recipe calls for three cups of water, but I'm not sure if it will exactly hold three cups since we've added that other stuff. But I think it will be just about right. Yeah. So a quart jar is a good size to use then. You can mix it all in there. So really it's as simple as, as that. And I didn't look up any uh, details on the peroxide, but y'all know what peroxide does. I mean, it's a cleaner, a cleanser, a purifier. So like if you have wounds or, um, you know, y'all know what to do with peroxide. So that's a good cleanser in itself. And then the thieves, all I said about the thieves, there's lots of good in there. The lemon, so those two ingredients there Plus the peroxide, I mean, that's why it's called safe bleach. It's not exactly a bleach like you think of that you buy in the store. But it can be used, like if you want to kind of purify your countertops or your bathroom, use it in your bathroom, you can spray it on the tub or the shower, um, anywhere where you might want really good cleansing or purifying or de-germing, something like that. Use it on your toilets or whatever. So it's just a, another cleanser, cleaner for household use. And uh, I really don't know what all you can do, do with it. I haven't tried too many things. I've just kind of used it in basic cleaning. And, and, and the other good thing is, it smells good. It smells like lemon. So anyway, that's what I was going to show you today. So hopefully you got some good out of it. If you have questions, um, be sure and send them to me. I don't know if, if you can do it from the description. I'll put the recipe in the descriptions down below the video. Um, and name again the oils that I've talked about here today. If you're interested in learning more about the oils, all you've got to do is just contact me. And uh, I plan to have this video up on my Providential Health Facebook page, so you might can find me there. And uh, so I appreciate your time. Hopefully you got something that you can use out of this. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I wish you the very best. And until next time, enjoy God's providence.